Welcome, so today we're going to read about another person from fantastically great women who made history. Today our focus is on Flora Drummond. Here she is in the middle, it's a picture of her. Flora Drummond was born in Manchester, England in 1878 and she grew up in Scotland. Flora wanted to become a postmistress but because of a rule which said that all postmasters and mistresses must be at least five foot tall and two inches, she was told she was too short to do the job. Flora was outraged. The rule didn't take into account that women were often shorter than men. Her height had nothing to do with how good she was at her job. Standing tall, Flora decided to fight for fairer rights for working women. And in 1906, she joined the WSPU, which stands for the Women's Social and Political Union. Women in the WSPU were called suffragettes. They fought for the law to be changed so that women had the right to vote and have a say in how their country was run. Quickly, Flora became a leading figure in the WSPU. She was known as the General because she was so skilled at organising and inspiring her fellow suffragettes to do all they could to get votes for women. The government tried its best to ignore the suffragette campaign, but Flora made that very difficult for them indeed. Here we have a little newspaper article and it says Suffragette in 10 Downing Street, security was breached at the home of Britain's Prime Minister by the suffragette Flora Drummond. While a fellow suffragette distracted police, Flora rushed inside before being promptly ejected. Her brazen intention was to hand out information about the Votes for Women campaign to the Prime Minister himself. So she believed so strongly that men and women should have equality that she went in to, the, to 10 Downing Street to hand it herself to the Prime Minister to have an impact. No wonder she inspired people. Suffragette March on Scotland, the 5th of October, 1707. A crowd of 10,000 cheering onlookers lined the streets to witness the spectacle of Scotland's first march in the name of women's rights. The procession was made up of around 1,000 suffragettes and was expertly organised and led by Scottish suffragette Flora Drummond. So here she is again leading people, making sure that she's known, making, her, making sure that their voices are heard. And then on the 21st of June, 1908, the general set sail for parliament. If you remember, sometimes Flora was referred to as the general. There were shocking scenes on the River Thames today as Flora Drummond found another inventive method to force cabinet ministers to listen to the suffragettes message. Unsuspecting ministers who were enjoying tea on the Riverside Terrace in the Houses of Parliament were unable to ignore Mrs Drummond's shouts as she sailed past on a barge, inviting them to join a suffragette march in London's Hyde Park. So there she is again organising another event to get the attention of politicians to make sure that women had equal votes. We will not be ignored, she said. Go girls, our voices will be heard. Flora's heroic attitude, enthusiasm and efficient organising skills played a huge part in leading women towards equality that they deserved. And in 1918, the right to vote was given to some women aged over 21. I led my suffragette army to victory, she said. Well, isn't that? impressive. She worked so hard to make her name known, to make the suffragettes name known, 
and to make sure that the women of the Women's Social and Political Union were heard. And as a result of her work, or she definitely contributed towards it, some women were then able to vote. How interesting.